Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We do have some new mod additions to the series. Of course, the Andromeda character with the mods as we um, previously mentioned. Slash played, where the hell is that character? There you are. But also, the collection collections person has made another collection to add to his collection of collections. And this one's called the Cursed Collection. And it kind of spooks me. It adds a lot of new items, a few new trinkets, but also it adds like six new curses to the game. And some of them look a bit spicy, so we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, we got regular Eve to hush. So let's uh, let's play as regular old Eve here, wherever the hell she is, and uh, just have a good old time as her. But yeah, this is gonna be some spice, and we're gonna see if we get any of these new curses popping up because it could be quite interesting. If we do, it could be quite interesting indeed. So first of all, we'll just do that. Um, and we're just going to see what we end up getting. Obviously, at the minute, we just got a an, an regular old Curse of the Maze. Nothing crazy here. But yeah, um, there's one that's like a, a Curse of the Blind. But instead of making the items question... Oh my god, do not die in this room. Instead of making the items question marks, it makes them... Um, into like silhouettes there's one of them where um when you blow off rocks they have a they have a chance to like regrow themselves back into rocks uh which is kind of interesting there's another one that has and en gives enemies a chance to respawn on kill another one that makes it so that consumables fade away after a short time there is some spicy spicy ones in there and they are configurable as well so if we end up really not liking one or finding it unfun or for whatever reason we can just turn it off in the config menu so it's really nice that way. And obviously, with it being a cursed pack, the items are uh, cursed centric, at least in a way. Um, ooh, yay. I mean, it at least gives us a bit of backup. I wouldn't prefer to respawn as, um, as Blue Baby, but if we have to, we have to. I think another one is like uh, more champions. There's a lot of cool ones, really. I think it. Uh, curses are something that. Are, oh, we're so dead here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we respawn as Blue Baby, though. Um, oh, we respawn with as Blue... Do you know what? This is all positive. We respawned as Blue Baby, but now we have permanent Horror Babylon. How good is that? <laughs> How good is that? Right, the Razor Blade's pretty useless now, i got to say, but otherwise... Oh, my God, first floor sick monster. -er. What up, my dude? Haven't had a first floor sick monster in a little while, so it's it's cool to see this uh, this dude going hard. I absolutely love this mod. It's so fitting. It just... Monstro is an obviously classic, pretty awesome boss um, for Binding of Isaac. But this just feels so fitting. And it's so well sprited as well that you just can't complain. You just can't complain at the absolute chadness of this of this boy. There you go. And... That's just going to give us um, blue health as well. So this is this is all positive. I mean, it's kind of crazy that I would have died had I not got on the onk, uh, ank, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's kind it's kind of crazy. But yeah, of course, curses are kind of in a weird spot in the Binding of Isaac because like not a lot of people like curses. They think they don't really add much. But I think that's more because of the curses the default game has than curses themselves. What on earth is this? Ah, oh, actually, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's uh, got to wait, wait a little bit, but that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, it's kind of because the base game curses aren't all that interesting, really, at least for the most part. And I think some of the ones that um, Prayan, the person that created this mod pack, has added are really, really good. Um, there's some that I'm sure I'm going to learn to hate, but that's the good thing. If I learn to hate them, I can just turn them off. Um... But I'm, I'm, I'm most looking forward to the items, because uh, as as it always is with Prayan's pack, they're all his packs are always floor-based, and the items are always based on things from that floor. And this time, it's Mausoleum, so we got, like, some familiar things from the Siren. Uh, we even got some raggling things from a boss that isn't even fully implemented, which is pretty cool. Um, so we got some we got some interesting stuff to see, and I'm really hoping that during the course of this run, we do end up, um, we do end up seeing... A little bit of those, because that'd be pretty cool. Right. Go back. But yeah, <laughs> um, I technically am still playing Eve, but I don't know who's put, who's put in the thumbnail now. Um, I'll probably still put Eve in, to be honest, because at least it kind of fakes you guys out a little bit. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We shall see. Boom, bow. Okay. 
Item room, item room. What do you hold for me? I'm hoping that we can get a better active, because our active at the minute is just not good. Oh god, those those fat boys up there are a bit scary. Honestly, with this damage though, I'm not feeling too worried at all. I realize our health is quite precious now, but even still. Right. We got the poop! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The full transformation. <laughs> I've got to take it. <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay. I realize that this is not a good item to take, but I have become Blue Baby. <laughs> what the hell? That's so strange. Transforming into the bluest of boys through pure coincidence. All we need now is petrified poop, and then we are on a roll. We are the one, the only, the bluest of babies. Right, let's go fight our boss, see what we end up getting here. You kind of want one of them, but... Ooh, it's only Clog. Okay, Cl Clog's not so bad. He does, he does fire his children at you at rapid speeds, but for the most part, if you've got good damage, they're not an issue, as you can clearly tell. It's only when he... Ooh, goddamn. It's only when you don't have good damage and can't kill him in one hit they really are an issue. Otherwise, they ain't none but a bitch. He does have a lot of health though, I will say. Clog is a... Clog is a healthy boy. And obviously when he fires his babies, it does block our shots. Which makes things a little harder. Okay, he's, he's spawned a few boys on me here. Mainly the flies that block shots, but we got him, we got him. Okay. Take them out one at a time. I mean, we definitely can't go Devil Deal, but I will gobble down some pills. I'll tell you that for sure. Oh, it's my voice. Ooh, I can see forever. It's really good here. Speed down. Oof. Hurts a little bit, but I gotta say, I'm not too peeved. Oh my god. This is this with LSD is kind of crazy. So, right. First things first. Let's just go and check to see if we can get a free devil deal. Because if I can, then I should. I can. It would lock us into devil deals, though. Maybe I won't, and I'll just use this for the flight to go and get all that money. That sounds a little more sensible. Because there was a luck penny in here as well, so... Yeah. I think that was a little bit more sensible. Given the circumstances. Um, we'll just pop that now. We don't need Solar Lash or anything. Solar Cane? Kind of an interesting one. I'm not really sure where we're looking here. Okay, we got our regular secret room here. That's good. We also got our cash room for free here, which is good. Oh, yes, please. You know what? We'll do it here. Let's go. That was a really bad idea. And I'm now only just realizing why, but do not, do not fret. I'm still going to go through the doors. I'm an idiot. I realize that now. That was just unfathomably stupid. And I regret nothing. But, crawl space. Good stuff. Oh. <gasps> What? Okay, we, we, we gotta we gotta get this. Uh, Hemolacria, hell yes. I love some Hemolacria. Now I've just gotta not die. But this is uh turning out to be some good stuff. Throw to Genesis, why not? It's me again. These shops need to calm down. These shops are so strong. I have messaged one of the developers of the people that adds the rooms and said, Hey, look, this could do with uh, calming down a little bit. Just a, just a tad. Um, it's it's kind of crazy. Right, let's keep her going. One sec. Right, let's go. Down we go. I'm super happy to have Hemolacria. It's one of my favorite items. And getting that skull item is so good. I still can't believe I did that stupid thing with the cash rooms, though. But... At the end of the day, we, we've we've not really lost much. 
Look at that damage, baby. Look at that damage. Oh, hell yeah. And also, we can one-shot poops now. Hell yes. Okay, good. I'm hoping for a petrified poop soon here. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have gone in here, but I'm glad that I did. Humbling Bundle's going to help us a hell of a lot. Okay, this is a good room to try and find uh, Petrified. Obviously, we don't need the rainbow poop, sadly, but we could get some good money out of this. You never know. Sadly, only a dip. But at least we got the dip. Blue Baby Rework is one of my favorite mods. Love the fact that it adds that. Ooh, this is definitely a, a room where we should do this. Just in case. Okay, I'm not quite going to be able to destroy this poop, I don't think. Nope, missed it. Doesn't matter. we got enough tears to easily kill these guys anyways. Just a bit of a shame is all. Just a bit of a shame is all. This is a very hard room as well upon entering. You've got a good chance of getting hit if you're not careful. What the hell? More dippies for me. More dippies. So I haven't seen that item room, let's go. I'm super looking forward to seeing one of these cursed items. Or even one of these new curses. Like, obviously curses, you don't get them every floor. So we're not gonna we're not gonna see them all super quick or anything. It could be a few runs, maybe even more before we see them all. I'm hoping that we see at least one of them this episode. Considering that there's like six new ones, I'd assume we'll see at least one. I don't know how common they are, to be honest. Really going ham on all these poops right now. Oh my god, the monstrous lung attack, it scares me every time. Good, good. Anemic, nah, thank you. Hey, Rotgut is so much better. Hell yes. Do love me some Rotgut. Um, secret room could well be here and it could get us into our cash room, so I'll try it out. It's not, but it's most likely here. There you go. And we get Magician. The Unknown. Activates a random tarot card effect. Normal or reverse. Small chance to teleport you to the I Am Error. That is definitely a new card. Um, I think courtesy of Repentance Plus. I'm interested to see how this one works. I've got to say. Um, I, well, like, I, obviously, I know how it works. I'm interested to see what we end up getting. Because considering what it can do, I can imagine it being a little bad. Like, because you could get, like, a, a reroll from, um, from, like, the Invoke of Random Dice Effect card, stuff like that. Uh, but the teleport to a random I Mirror room seems pretty good. Obviously, you want to be activating it at the end of a floor, knowing that. Strength. Oh, we just got a Strength card. Okay, nothing crazy. Um... I think we will bounce by the ounce. Sounds good. Sounds good. Just checking where our goal is. Sorry, I'm just replying to the guy that's uh, made the made the shots from Rooms Galore, letting him know the. Uh... Oh, here we go. We've got a, we've got a new curse. Curse of Conquest. So the Curse of Conquest is kind of interesting. Let's go and take a look what the Curse of Conquest is doing for us here. There it is. Okay, Curse of Conquest. Curse of Conquest. While active, um, more enemies will be turned into champions when they appear. This includes enemies spawned by other enemies. So this one is the additional champions. So we're going to see that little effect appear now and again. And we're probably going to see a little more champions than normal. But this is actually a really, really good curse. Because while enemies being champions makes the game more difficult, it actually gives us the opportunity to get more champion-based drops. Which, of course, is pretty good. Also, I see you there, Ruth. 
Are you kidding me? Do you see what I just did there? That poop just blasted the bomb away. That was so stupid. Uh, chance of 10 to Azazel. With Hemolacri, I don't think that's really something I'm going to want. Yeah, it seems like a pretty high chance, which is, is good. I think as long as they can still drop champion drops, this is a curse I can definitely get behind. Our range is making it so I can't really shoot the poops anymore. This. This is going to be nuts. Right, let me just let me just try this out. Oh, beautiful. Ow. That dropped a nickel? Okay. If you wanna. Okay, it can it can turn champion turn enemies that are invincible into champions, which is kinda weird. Um Bit of an error. It let us finish the room at least, but yeah, that 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 enemy shouldn't be able to turn to a champion because it means that you get you could get soft locked, I guess. Oh, spinning wheel Hemolacria, you've got to love it. Obviously, it's going to add some uh, randomness into our run because we can't really aim while we're using it, but I don't think that's a terrible thing. Hello, sir. I wonder if it affects bosses, too. I'm going to imagine so, but I don't actually know for sure. Okay, this guy's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. Oh, my God. Having a hard time dodging these projectiles from above here. Oh, my Lord. Definitely need some HP right now. Box isn't quite what I was looking for, but did give us a golden pill. Not great. Not great. But better than the poop. Balls of steel. Tears up HD down. But <laughs> Have I grown up? Okay, just spam the hell out of this thing. See what see what happens. Health so far has gone up. We managed to verp, which gives us a speed up. Hell yes. No, 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 not again. Ooh, we dropped all of our hearts on the floor. That could be quite dangerous. Retrovision. Estrogen up. Have, up. Have I grown up? Another bad trip. I'm hoping for another balls of steel is really what I'm looking for. Or 48 hour energy. That also helps a lot. Just keep going. Another tears down. Cyanide. Cyanide just gives us a black heart. Telepills, I don't care. Gulp. Gulped our trinket, nice. Oh, that was stupid. I could have gotten there free. Although it took more than more of my health than it should have done there. Okay. Overall, reasonably positive. <laughs> I probably should have gone in there but, uh, then. Though. Reasonably positive. Whoa! The Have I Grown Up pill just confused the hell out of me for a second there. Oh, I forgot about how dope arcades are right now. Right, um, we've been to our shop. We, we, we're we good to grab some of this, aren't we? I'm loving this sped up music. Just keep going on this guy. Keep wailing on him. Yeah, a bunch of soul hearts. Justice, nice. Let's keep going. <laughs> that music was amazing. Right. We did get Filigree Feather, which, if we can get into that Angel Deal again, will be very, very useful. Oh, you got to be kidding me, game. Ugh. 
<laughs> so much effort for so little payoff there. My health is looking real good now. Very happy about that. Yes, we can still get into the angel deal as well. Hell yes. Filigree Feather coming in clutch here, I think. Spinning wheel going crazy. I like the fact that it also affects spawned enemies too. You don't, like, normally spawned enemies can't be champions. So, that's a nice little addition to that curse. It makes it a little more deadly. The spear, it's nothing great, but it's an angel item, so I'll take it. Right. Let's keep her going. But we got some we got some significant spice on this run here. Some significant spice. I mean our health is really the, the good thing right now for us. I love spinning wheel. Spinning wheel can be one of those items that you sometimes you never use it, but sometimes it just leads to a run popping off. And while it's not the most effective thing on this run, it's pretty damn good. Because obviously now we can't aim, but with Hemolacria, who needs to aim? Aiming with Hemolacria is a thing of the past. Uh, we didn't get any curses this floor, so nothing's going on here. I'm glad that we got to see one of the new ones already, though. We're likely to probably see at least one of the other new ones. I think Rock Guts is actually another thing that's really helping out with the Hemolacria setup we got going on right now. We're able to group up enemies a little more closely. Oh god, I almost walked into those spikes. I'm just holding the one direction so that every time we go into a room, because we don't need to be facing any particular way. I mean, I, su I suppose for our sword we do, but otherwise it's all just up in the air. Hey, Rockgut just helped us out immensely there. Huzzah. The faded Polaroid. Hmm. I think I'm okay for that. Oh god, I didn't expect him to charge me for some reason, even though that's exactly what that enemy does. And the only thing that enemy does. Oh god. This is another another moment where Rotgut is uh, coming in clutch. Oh my lord. Not being able to aim at an enemy that jumps is... It bad. <laughs> It real bad, but we've got renewable health, or at least it's not great renewable health, but it is technically renewable health. One soul heart every 12 rooms isn't exactly renewable, <laughs> but eh, it's better than nothing. Oh my, that guy, that guy absolutely yeeted that at me. Oh, oh dude, these enemies, I can't not get hit by them, I swear. Maybe some rooms we're going to have to just take the executive's decision to, um... Ooh, stopwatch. Very nice. Um, take the executive's decision to just, um, use Hemolacria normally. Ooh, there's a thingy chest here. Chest? Uh, rock. Oh, that's a lot of dip boys. Thank you. Still haven't found that item room yet. Kind of delayed on finding everything at the minute. Should probably take those keys. I'm hoping we can get some more tier effects that help this out. Like, homing would be insane. If I could just stop walking into enemies that are not moving, would be a real good way to stop taking as much damage, I think. I think that would be, like, one step in the right direction for me. Heart Biscuit is real good. Heart Biscuit is real good, but I don't think it'll work for us. I will do this. Oh. You can't do this to me, game. You know I'm a fiend. I'm a fiend for the magic skin. Right then. You've done it, game. You've given me something that's going to make me kill myself. Well done. And you've given me an active that I don't want. Also, well done. Uh, right. Let's take a little look at where Secret Room could be. Could clearly be here. Sadly not. Could also be right here. There you go. Definitely gonna take that. Right. Q. 
Keeper's Sack is a pretty good pickup. Especially when we have as much money as we do. I do wish we'd have bought the stopwatch before the, uh, after the. That would have been good. I can't remember if the golden batteries do one full heart or not. Like, I, I really can't remember. Uh, but we are going to go and buy that. Buy that. Buy that. Spend as much money as possible to get those stats. I'm going to do another magic skin. I know t magic skin takes two soul hearts off us when we use it, by the way. I'm just a filthy risk taker. And there you go, we got Echo Chamber. We got Echo Chamber for doing that. Okay, that 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 could be real good for us. Gotta remember that it only remembers the last three cards right now, so... We don't have to worry about using teleport cards, really. I'm looking for Tinted Rocks at the minute, because I kind of feel like we need them. Like, this is definitely a run where I can see us dying pretty horribly. Okay. We've actually done really good here so far. Uh, the Hemolacria set. I do not know what hit me then. I think it was a, a pooter fly that just shot me from, like, behind the fleshy mass. Which is kind of rude, if you, if you ask me. Shot speed here is actually pretty good. That is so good. <laughs> we now get three hero fonts. Um, okay. Some good shit here. Book of Virtues is great, but I don't really think Book of Virtues is what we need. I think we need the Book of Jubilees for the getting the luck pennies and soul hearts. And the beds as well, which is three free soul hearts, so... The Bible. Huzzah. I realize it could be a bad pill. No, I'll just I'll just skip to the next floor. I'll just skip to the next floor. I was gonna say I realize it could be a bad pill, but I should really go for uh, using these pills a little more. But I think I think we're okay. But yeah, echo chamber still very very good despite the nerf. It's not quite as exciting as it used to be. Not quite as game breaking, but it is still very very good. All we need is a, a card or pill, preferably card, so we know what we're taking. Haha, <laughs> you're stuck in my rock gut. Well done to you. Ooh, this is a room where the spinning wheel may need to be stopped in, in order to actually hit things. Otherwise, actually, no, do you know what? I said that, and then immediately I'm like, nah. What am I talking about? This is going to be so much better with this. Also being able to carry two charges here is going to be real nice for us. Do not know how I didn't get hit there. Hey, look, we got a Holy Mantle from Book of Jubilees there. I think Book of Jubilees is, is very, very strong. Good stuff. Where are my cards at, boys? Where are my cards at? Sadly, nowhere currently. Right, this is just a speedrun of all speedruns. Oh, that was kind of crazy. Damn, we get nothing this this uh this floor. No cards. No pills. Ooh, we do technically have a full card there, but I suppose teleport card isn't really the way we want to do it, is it? I know that teleport cards aren't as bad anymore, but I'd still rather not have to teleport. Ooh, Lil Greed. Lil Greed's real good. It's a respawn as well. We can respawn as the keeper if we die. Kind of an interesting respawn, actually. I kind of, I, I quite like it. It works quite well. Uh, there's a soul heart. Book Jubilees is so very good. Come on. Don't make... Thank you. I'm going to say, don't make me hurt myself to blow that up, please. That would just be cruel. 
Hello, item. Oh, oh, you tricky bastard. That wasn't an item. That was an evil. That was a horrible, horrible evil. Where is our secret room? It better be. Ah, oh, I was going to say it better be there, but it's not. It could be between these two, though. Nope, it's not. It's probably here. Big sad. No, no extra rooms for us. Although, possibly some items. Nope. Not even any cards. We should still go to the shop and buy everything we can, though. Ugh. Game disappointing me at the minute. This has been disappointing for this floor, but I guess life moves on. Okay, so Red Bull shouldn't be too bad either. Kind of depends on what rotation we get with uh, where Spinning Wheel currently is when she rocks around. I just realized there's that there. Boom, bow. I realized I could have probably used uh, Magic Skin on that floor there, but I don't know. I want to I try and get the Soul Heart on the ground first before we... Uh, Go all willy-nilly here. Definitely a room where we can just cycle the entire room. Ooh, I haven't seen these enemies in a little while. These enemies are scary as heck. They move at the speed of light when you get near them. Do you know what? This is not a room I'm a fan of at all. It's okay though. And we got 20, we got, like, at this point we got so many keys and stuff, we really don't need to be worrying at all. Um, yet to see another one of the new curses, I think. Don't remember seeing any of them. We shall see, we shall see. Sadly, no new items, and there's Book of Jubilee popping off. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, where? Ooh, got to open this. Okay, we actually got a card. It's a Temperance, but it's a card. Right, I kind of want to take No to stop um, Thingy showing up. Magic Skin showing up again once we get rid of it, but I don't think we need to. Ooh, Magic Sword the Extra damage. Yeah, let's take that for now. Right, that's going to be kind of crazy. Uh, let's grab this. We need to find our secret room now, which is going to be slightly problematic, I think. Trying to think. I don't think we have anywhere currently discovered that we could think it would be. Oh, my God. Wait, actually, it could be here. Nope. Could be here. Don't know why I pushed the bomb away there. Once we kill an enemy, our tears just get fucking huge. It's great. Haven't unfortunately had a tears up yet, but I think we're spinning wheel. We're kind of... We don't need it. It'd be nice, but I don't think we can really complain about not getting one so far. Secret room, secret room. Uh, where are you? I have no idea. I don't think we've seen a spot that it could appear in yet. Look, Penny, nice. Could be here. Eh. So hard to find the secret rooms in the wing. It's basically why I never check. I've had people ask me before, like, oh, why don't you, like, do your due diligence and check the secret room on every floor? And it's just like, the womb is such an annoying floor to check the secret room on, honestly. It really is. Like, that should have been second secret room, right? Ugh. Ugh. Such a pain. Have we checked here? Okay, there you go. Oh, we got a reroll in this room as well. Okay, that's some good stuff. No, 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 no. You bastard. That was close. Right. So let's, um, first of all, let's pop our temperance. Because that's going to drop that down for us. Then let's pop this. Then pop this. Grab both of those. 
We play the hell out of you, big boy. Get you to pay out. And then we start rolling for something good. D infinity is a start. Yeah, we'll take D infinity because we can reroll magic skin. And what's what's this? Unjams the nurse machine every floor. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Increases angel chance as well. Ooh, I did forget about the fact that we're gonna get a lot of magic skins here, aren't we? Also, blue streaks in the uh, in the secret room. Okay. Flip magic skin again. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. That is. Should have thought about that. There's our key. Good, good, good. That's mainly what we were looking for. And unfortunately, we uh, we got rid of everything else there, but we got that. We'll get magic skin back, I'm sure, later on. Let's finish off this floor at least, shall we? Got our R key. We got experience bar as well, that's pretty good. By the way, if we do respawn as, um, what's his name at any point, um, the keeper, we're a bit screwed. Just because if we do respawn as the keeper, ooh, my XP bar's going up and up and up. Um... Is, this isn't ha meant to be how this works, is it? Encyclopedia, inventory. I don't even know if the, if this is that I'm having encyclopedia, but let's check. Killing enemies causes Isaac to gain XP. Get enough XP. Yeah, okay, this is unintended. We're just gonna... Well, let me just check. What stats do we actually get? Is this a fake level up or is this a real level up? I know this is gonna be kind of boring to sit here and watch, but... Let's figure this out. Okay, no, it's stopped now. Okay. Right, let's go to the next floor. We'll do the next floor, and then we'll Arky. Good stuff. The sun. We'll keep the sun for now. Because, uh, remember, that's going to spawn us two soul hearts because of Echo Chamber. And use a Temperance Machine as well. Eternal heart there, there you go. Good stuff. Ooh. Lots of spice going on there. Oh my god, there is some spicy room showing up right now. I mean, luckily we have obscene damage, but... Some spicy stuff coming up. And some annoying poops that we have a really hard time destroying, actually. Just a unfathomably hard time destroying. My god. Yeah, I've been getting kind of lucky with Arky recently. We've had it twice uh, in not so many runs. But then again, I think it's both been in that room or one room very similar where we're able to reroll. Which, getting rerolls in um, in secret rooms is obscenely powerful, so... Nice, nice. Okay. Sadly, we no longer have our, um, what's it called? Oh, look, it's magic skin or magic skin or two actives. Oh, my God. That's just evil game. Anyways, let's, um, let's Arky. Back we go. Okay, it's so the labyrinth. We got another card there. That spawned a restock machine? Okay. I just wanted that in my rotation. But yeah, this run's going to get pretty nutty. This, this run was already pretty nutty. It's going to get a bit more nutty. We do need to grab magic skin again to stop it from constantly showing up. Even if we're unlikely to ever use it again. We just want to have it on us. Hopefully we can keep this uh, double damage for a little while as well. With the, uh, the help of Book of Jubilee giving us Holy Mantle charges. 
There's magic skin. So we'll grab a magic skin because we just kind of need to. <laughs> it's it's pretty much a requirement for us at this point. What the hell? Uh, I was like, what? what is that? That sword is doing a lot of damage too. There's that bed we were looking for before. I guess we'll check in here. Empty vessel, yes please. Um yeah, false PhD as well, why not? Because the thing is we've got the bed. Oh, I should have taken the pill it drops. I forget I forget it drops the pill. We've got the bed. So that's gonna do well for us. Good, good. Right, let's go find our item rooms. I kind of forgot this was a an XL floor for a little bit then. I wonder if we'll get any more secret room craziness going on. I always find on runs like this, the secret room craziness just keeps going. This seems new. Grants a sun that appears in the center of every room. Killing enemy has a chance to make it shoot a powerful solar flare in a random direction. Oh, you bastard. I'm fairly sure that this is from um, the thingy mod, uh, Andromeda. Yeah. Seems intriguing indeed. My first Andromeda item. Oh, whoa. Okay. That's basically a brimstone ball. That's insane. This is so cool. Picking up, and this is an item from the curse pack. Picking up uh, items may also grant item wisps of the same type. I'm not exactly sure what it means by that. So, does it does it mean we get a duplicate of that same item, or does it mean item same item type is in from that same pool? I'm not quite sure what it means there, but we'll find out. I'm sure. Anyways, let's uh, let's get going. But yes, this is uh, two two back to back very cool items to get. I think. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Look at that. That is pretty awesome, that. Magic pen. I've had it before and it not worked. Hey, we got the little heretic. Another one from the cursed pack. We have a little look at the little heretic here. We can go to our inventory. Um, spawns a familiar that chases down enemies, inflicts weakness to enemies around it, and connects lasers between it and the player. This is the sort of stuff we were looking for. Arky, you have blessed us. You have blessed us with cool items. That item is so cool. <laughs> Just fires a massive brimstone beam at an enemy that bothers it. You dare to bother me, son? Oh, we... Okay, we did get... Okay, so... It does do exactly what I thought. So, basically, it's kind of interesting. You're essentially getting... Um, you're essentially getting a wisp to block damage if... This is pretty cool. Uh, you're essentially getting a wisp to block damage if... Um, did that guy just, like, burt on out of here? What the hell? Bye. <laughs> um, a wisp to block damage if you don't... Um, if it doesn't, like, if it can't be duplicated. But if it's an item that, can, that you can have multiple versions of, then, like, quad shot or whatever... Then you can you're able to have duplicates, which I think is pretty fucking awesome. This is cool. I like it. Secret room has to be here, right? Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. We we we're, were rarely gonna use that for anything proper, anyways. Oh shit! There's an enemy right there. Oh no! We lost our double damage. I didn't even realize the biggest heck to ever heck. The biggest heck to ever heck. Old bandish. Probably should have taken that after. Gimpy is a must. Right. Next floor. We go again. God damn. Yeah, that sun's pretty huge, but pretty awesome. Sun card. Gonna give us some lovely soul hearts as well. I thought the soul hearts would be gone out of the rotation by now, but it must be. I must have been one off when I was counting. 
burn heart. Nice. Turns into some nice burny boys. Look at that. Oh, it's excellent. I will not reroll. I will do this, though. I'm really tempted to keep using um, magic skin, but I know it's a just awful idea. <laughs> I don't even know what hit me then. Don't worry though, we're getting loot on the regular. Need to go over to our shop over there as well. Should probably actually go to the shop now, considering that's the way to the boss. Ooh, we got a spectral. Gotta, gotta be aware of that. For some reason I thought we did. Terraria enemy there. Doesn't really matter what loot we pick up at this point. We're pretty high on everything. Oh my god, that's so, so cool. I might as well take a scratch card. Oh, damn. Where did those items come from? I am not very sure. The lovers. What on earth have I created here? There is some strange stuff going on with these scratch cards that I don't quite understand. Hmm. It gave me another one? I'm so, so confused. <laughs> Echo Chamber plus Scratch Card equal game broke, I guess? I, I, I can't quite tell if that's what's causing it. Ooh, Telescope Lens, hell yes. School Bag is very good for us here. Because now... We can have other active items like this bad boy. And to not f keep finding the same things over and over again. Suicide King doesn't seem very well advised. Yeah. The hide. Okay. Okay, I'm very confused here, but things are happening, I guess. Let me just pick this up and then go see how many charges we can get out of this room. Excuse me. Ah, oh, almost, almost all the way. The fool, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what was happening there. There was, there was something locked into our echo chamber that was causing all sorts of tomfoolery, but I really don't know what it was. I seem to have a lot of wisps now. Which is nice. Oh my god, this brimstone thing is so cool. Uh, I think I want to keep my, my dice thing, because that seems to be causing some shenanigans, and I like shenanigans. Hello? Right. Evil Eye? Okay. A pill. Adding a pill into the mix is pretty spicy, I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. Okay. Let's just keep this going. Oh, I keep getting hit because there's things inside the sun that I don't see. <laughs> I 
What a beautiful rank, Mega. Better the old shot speed. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yes and yes. I realize this is mega risky. But I think we're okay. And you know why? Because I have a ton of unearned confidence. <laughs> For no reason other than I just do. Fierce Mask, yes. Battery, yes. Lens, give me back. Scratch card, please. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, uh, but it, it was full card, wasn't it? Ooh, one moment. We are back in it. Right, what was I doing? I can't remember. Um, I think I was just abusing the shop. A lot of batteries. A lot of batteries. Um... Right. Okay. Do that again. Buy the soul heart, definitely. My ID stopped working, I don't know why. I don't know what this does, but let's find out. Where where is this? Oh there it is. Possum's head. Converts pickups into burn orbitals. Not really that good for us, to be honest. Okay, Smelter is an interesting one. I think we should buy Smelter just to use it on this and then pick up that. I'm going to put that down. Okay, uh, buy the battery. Pop that again. There you go, get that. Now we're cooking with gas. Do that so that we can go boom, boom, and boom. And pop it again. We'll pop that. Okay. <laughs> We're getting into the uh, into the thick of it here, really, aren't we? Getting into the thick of it. I think we go again. Get another battery, which allows us to go again. And then we get a Soul Heart and Champion Belt. Okay. That dice item, when you've got a lot of money, is pretty broken. And we've got Keeper's Sack as well, so it's even more broken. Oh, you absolute bastard. As if I walked right into that. Anyways, our health is now at a point where we won't die very quickly. Uh, let's go into our boss thingy room here and see what's up, up with that. That's good. I like that. Oh my god, what is going on with my tears right now? <laughs> I don't even know. What is going on with my tear height? <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Alrighty then, game. You, you, you do you. Anyways, let's continue on this just journey. That's what I'm just going to call it. It's a journey. Ooh, and I did all that to get healed up, and there's literally three soul hearts chilling right here. Back to full health. Um, I don't know what this is, but it doesn't actually matter if it takes us to the next floor or not. Okay, it did. Guess we were done with that floor anyways. Right, so find the shop as quickly as possible. That is our main priority here. Get a lot of money is also real good. Oh, but why are you pushing my bombs around? Okay. Take me to the shop. I want to abuse it. Do, 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 do. We should really leave our money on the floor for uh, extra rerolls. What on earth hit me then? Yeah, we should be leaving money on the floor, really, thinking about it. Permit. Perfect. Okay. Reroll. Take this. Grab that. Reroll. Take this. Then we go back. Planetarium. Because of our uh, extra telescope lens chance. Very nice. 
Golden Clicker as well. Isn't that a revive as another character as well? Pretty good. We get Soul, of course. Still, these guys don't work for me. Okay, we'll leave, leave that there. What on earth is this just grossness? Right. Oh my god, this sun. Here comes the sun. Boo doo doo doo. I'm not sure if any of our wisps are having a decent effect right now. Um, I, I know for a fact at least Champion Belt is going to be helping, but otherwise I'm not really so sure. Right, there was some money in here, wasn't there? Flat Penny we don't really need. Good. More keys. Oh my god. That is a horse pill, but we don't really need a horse pill right now. Oh, lovely. Some spare soul hearts to play around with. Do whatever we want with those. Right. I'll take this. Oh, I see. No, I won't. <laughs> it's retrovision. No, I won't. <laughs> Hello. Lusty boy, how are you? What keeps hitting me? We've leveled up again. Ah, oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Right, this way. Um, we don't have any other curses on at the minute. I think it was the heretics effect that did that. Guillotine. Oh, hell no. Sorry, guillotine. I will not touch you. Ooh, stick my out there. Hello. That is a five room, okay. It's the Dolly's great. Thank you. A lot of money. Well, not a lot of money, but it's a good now good enough amount of money. Glitch heart chilling over there. Another half soul heart on this floor. It's only depths once, so we can do the boss pretty safely. I'm pretty sure secret room's right here. Okay, let's just let's just leave all this there for a sec while we go and do another reroll. The electric dice is here. It has finally come to me. I think there's a double double tinted rock there as well. What? If I can't buy this, okay, I can. Good. I would have been so sad if I couldn't afford that then. Okay, now I've just got to try and afford this, but I know I can afford it by doing this. My donation machine is being majorly abused, but I don't really care. Oh, we were in debt for a little minute there. That's okay. Debt's never hurt anyone. I'm loving this at the minute. It's just such a messed up run. I mean, our key runs always get a bit bonkers, but this one, this one's taking the cake right now. Okay. Right. I don't know what this is, so I'll take it. Vesta. That gave me a lot of damage. Okay, right. Let's take a little see what that does. Vesta. This is from Astrological Signs. Extra damage. Isaac's tears have become extremely small. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We just caused ourselves a lot of lag. And Charion. Okay, so let's have a little look, see. Or carry. I don't know exactly how you pronounce that. This is another one from Astrological Signs. Unfortunately, neither of these are from um, the new mod from uh, the new character. Gives the player speed. Entering a new room will give you a random mapping effect. Entering a boss room will give uh, will select a random book effect from a list. Okay. Oh yeah, this is this is what I was expecting. Okay, okay. We have uh, we have some problems now. We have some problems. Main one being. Our tiers are hella small, 
So we're going to get quite laggy in this bitch. And also we still... Okay, Fate's Reward is still firing the uh, the normal tiers. This is going to get real messy. And real laggy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> There's so much shit going on right now. Who can even focus on whatever's happening? I mean, Mum's knife technically would fix a lot of the problems we're currently having. But at the same time, is it something we want? Ooh! The dice does work here. Oh. Nine lives. It's not a good idea, but it is an idea. We're still lagging from the tears. Oh, we got a clot to fire more for us. Even better. He paired out with pentagram. That's good. Like you can still hear the tears. I don't even, I don't even see the tears anymore. I'm just taking it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a risk, and it's a bad one. But I'm gonna take it. I think there is a decent chance we might have to remove the item that's creating all the tears, though. I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna see significant issues if we keep this item. Because of that. <sighs> Stop grabbing mum's toenail, you fuck. I think we are going to have to remove it, you know. It's just... It's not going to... It's not going to gel very well. Right, what's it called again? Let's go find out. Um, C. Inventory. Vesta. It's a bit sad, I realise. But we, we just can't. Um, remove. Oh, God. Vesta. Okay. Also, I'm just going to quickly send a, a hot screenshot of this to... Um, one minute, I need to minimize the game real quick. I'm going to send a quick screenshot of that to um, the mod author of uh, Andromeda just to see what's going on there. Um, got the sun item and console looks like this. Right. Okay. So, we should now have not tiny... Did it not remove Vesta? It didn't remove Vesta. Why? I, I spe specifically asked you to. Ah, it's because there's two Vestas, and we don't know which one it is, so... I guess we'll try that one first. It's not that one. C754. Okay. We, we did it. We did it. I'm sorry to see that item go, but this, this run, it just doesn't work for. Also, accidentally slept in a bed by accident, but you know how it be when you accidentally sleep in a bed. <laughs> this run has become something else. Also, does it works in these. Oh, that's beautiful. That's something I can get behind. Bit of tarot cloth in there as well. Love it. Get a strength card to just... I don't even know what just happened then. Restock? Oh, hell yes. Do 
booster pack? Oh my lord. That's a lot of foil cards too. Wheel of Fortune. Special Arcade. That is pointless. Chariot. Which is pointless. And... The Stars, which is... Good. Cancer's... Cancer's actually pretty good. We'll take Cancer. Okay. Do we have much more to milk out of the shop? I am not sure. Kind of, yeah. King of Spades. Nice. What? What happened in here? I was gone for one minute. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't gone for that long. What happened? I'm so confused. Now, do I gamble? Do I gamble? This is the question. And of, of course, the answer is yes. Although the game screwed me and I couldn't. I was going to grab the molten coin and try and duplicate everything. Another card, you say? I thought that was Psyfly then. You fooled me. Hype set. Hype set's pretty decent. Back we go. There's a lot of shit in this room. Oh. Car battery? Kind of cheeky shit you're trying to pull here, game. Edgeless cube. Buying a lot of stuff that I'm not meant to be buying right now, and I don't really know if I can stop. Steam sale? Hell yes. Okay. Ow, is it over? It's not. Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be spicy. Okay, we got a lot of uh, a lot of wisps now. This is uh, this is kind of crazy. Ooh, oh, pride is back. Hello. We'll grab that. Why not? Buy nightlight as well. Why not? Buy that. Oh, we're in debt now. Be careful. Okay, we're out of debt. Good. Okay. Is that us done? Is that this floor done? <laughs> I genuinely don't know if I'm able to hit anything anymore. Because my tears are just gone into the stratosphere. But we'll, we'll try. Oh, this is uh, Mum's old foot. Oh, that's a lot of typesetted boys. Right, we keep going. God, this has just been fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. <laughs> been playing this run for 64 years. Now, one thing I'm interested to see, and I, I, it's going to take me a little bit to be able to test this, but... We kind of need to keep our keys here, so the eternal chest isn't super high priority right now. I haven't really been looking at my stats. I didn't realize my damage was all the way up to 200 and whatever sometimes. Kind of crazy. Oh, we got a glitch heart there. Let's uh, grab that real quick. Hey, golden heart. Nice. Right. Come on, game. Give me what I need. You know what I need. I need it to spawn me a shop. All you gotta do, game, is spawn me a shop. Goddamn, I can't believe how crazy our runs are getting. Like, we're still getting 
these crazy overpowered runs, but they're still so fun because, goddamn, they're so unique. We're seeing cool new modded items that we haven't seen before, and on top of that, they're just really interesting and different game breaks every time. Like, this wasn't just a standard R key get overpowered. We actually had to manipulate the game and use this new dice item to get a really crazy run going on. I think that's really fun. Uh, Blazy is actually the creator of um, the Something Wicked pack. It isn't currently public, but it's the one that's got this um, this golden dice in uh, that rerolls shops and restocks shops. And um, it's also got the electric dice in it. She, she did actually say that uh, coming soon, she's going to try and make more items that are like this, where they have like, um, they sort of don't do much on their own, but if you if you use them right, they can lead to like pretty interesting game breaks. Well, oh my god, what do we want to do with this? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to do something that I'll probably regret and you guys will probably hate me for. Actually, no, f first of all, first of all, I want to get to the modded area, which it might actually be kind of hard to navigate to, I'll be honest, because I could so easily walk into something by accident with the setup that we have. I think modded stuff is all the way at the top and then to the right. There's a soul heart in here somewhere. I'll believe you. I think it's in this room here. Nope, it's not. Um, probably over this way then. Planetarium items. Here's the modded stuff. Okay, so. Damn! Um, thingy's not working. External item descriptions isn't working. So we can't even see what any of these do or what pack they're from. Damn, that's a real shame. We're going to have to take a judgment call on one of these then, aren't we? Another electric dice, imagine that. Uh, right, okay, let's, let's go and fish out an item that we want. Uh, let's go and fish out an item from the wiki that we want. So, in the Cursed Collection, let's see if there's any in there that really take my fancy. Um, okay. Nothing there. I'm looking for, like, quality four items. Do not touch makes red buttons appear in random combat rooms. While that is awesome, I doubt we'll need that. While held gives the player 1.8 times damage multiplier. Cursed flame. When used grants the player... Okay, that's an active. So they, they don't really count. Um, so as for Andromeda... Hmm... We can't actually see. We can't actually see any of the items Andromeda has to offer and what they do. Which is a shame, because I don't really want to take them at random. But there's so many here to go at that could be good. There's the sun item. There's a crown item here. Oh, this is so difficult. This is so difficult, because I don't have any ID descriptions. I do want to use my space bar and see what that does. Ah, my god. Shall I just gamble? This is very confusing because we have two mods that add very similar symbols to the game. We've got two of this one, two of this one, two of this one, two of this one. So it's kind of hard. Um... I don't know what's best. Maybe I'll just take this crown and see what that does. I'm going to take the crown.
Right. Mega Mush? Yes, please. Let's, uh, let's have a little look, see what that did. Inventory. So I took a quality three item. Gains four star orbitals that pass through, um, pass through a star, gain random tier effects depending on its color. Ooh, possible colors and effects. Red, rotten tomato, orange, fire mind, knockout drops the parasite. Um, oh, you can get Petrify or Bear Split, like Hemolacria. Yellow gives you Acid Confusion or Coin Tears. Blue gives you Ice, Jacob's Ladder or God's Flesh. White, Spectral, Slowing and Rubber Cement. Purple, Herming Fear and Charm. And green, Poison, Mysterious Liquid and Bugger. Ooh, this is... I really like this. Who knows how well I'll be able to use it here, but we'll, we'll find out. Well, that was interesting. Um, I do apologize that it was such a pain for us to um, find out what we were doing, but half of the course with uh, modded runs. Oh god. When it passes through the star that has the Hemolacria effect. Shit's getting messed up, man. And it always passes through it because our tears go everywhere. Got a bed there, just in case. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this. Oh god, the lag. Oh, the game's gonna crash. Be careful. No. Run in fear from the lag. Run in fear from the lag. Only ever fire once. Once is more than enough. Cap shooting is all we're allowed to do. Oh, hey, Fallen. How you doing? Hey, look, it's magic skin or magic skin. Or how about Damocles? And money equals power. Oh, god damn it. It's magic skin or magic skin or magic skin. I'm gonna have to take magic skin at some point again. It's it, I do wish magic skin wasn't quite as aggressive with the replacing things. I realize I have used it quite a lot, so it, it kind of should be, but still, come on now. Holy fucking hell, what the hell is this room? Oh, thank you for dragging all these towards me. Makes life much easier. Right. Pop this. Let's go stomp on some fools. Yeah, having flight with this is so much better. Why is my pride blue now and dead? What happened to pride? Sup, mum? Oh, we missed Hush. <laughs> oh, don't crash the game. Okay, thank God. Sometimes going up, it used to crash the game and it kind of scared me. Oh, it's, it just freezes a little bit now instead of crashing. Okay. We seem to be, have been in Mega Mush for quite a substantial amount of time. I mean, we've already got it back to charged again. I mean, when we walk over enemies, we literally go up to 900 damage briefly, so... You know how it be. Are we just permanently in Mega Mush now? Is this our life? Do not steal my Mega Mush. Don't even think about it, mister. Ah, oh, it's over. Or is it? <laughs> think again, game. Okay, this guy's going to be a pain in the pain in the buttocks. Hello, Isaac. <laughs> Let me walk on you with my 900 damage feet. Holy hell! How how many how many items is this going to spawn? It gave me care star. Are you kidding me? What the heck is all this? Nope, I want a Mega Mush back. Um, SMB Superfan. Hold this briefly. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not a good idea, actually. Technology, because why not? Piercing, because why not? 
spurred? What the hell's spurred? Whoa, that's pretty fucking cool. Oh god. Is this meant to work as a normal reroll? Doesn't feel like it should, but that's what I'm getting out of it right now. Okay, Eden's Blessings, of course, something we want. Right, we'll be, we'll be back for all of you. Oh my lord. What have I created here? What is this mess? It's... How many Damocles do I have? What's going on? <laughs> How come I get so... Oh, I think Damocles has a bit of a bugged interaction with bad options. And we're getting extra items for every Damocles item. Which is fucking nuts. One item turns to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy hell. I say, I bet I don't even have to do anything, do I? Oh my lord. Hey, another new item here. When we get hit, it creates rocks, I think that is. Which, I mean, I don't get hit very often, but I should probably try that. I'm trying to get hit, I promise. My lord, this run. Sci-fly, hello. Hey guys, <laughs> I, I literally, I walk right into enemies and I can't even get hit. It don't work. I don't know what I took there, but I got it now. Calcium. What the fuck happened in here? I don't know. I have literally no idea what caused this. Rock Bottom just disappeared, sadly. Not that we needed it, but still. Get some golden flakes going. Was it the reflected milk that caused this? My goodness, game. Game crap in its pants right now. This turned into something else, didn't it? Okay, we just about got through that, though. I don't know why that many items just spawned, but I shall accept. Really shouldn't be firing. It's not a good idea. Hey, look, but we did get hit and it created rocks. You see? Pretty cool. Curse of creation. It's like Curse of the Tower, but with the reverse tower's effect. Really cool idea. Oh, there's a chest in there. It's about a billion items for us there. I just... I, my commentary at this point is just devolved into... The fuck is going on? What is happening? How do I explain this? If I ca I I know that this is an awful idea. Okay, I was I was just gonna say, will it multiply damage at all? But it doesn't. I... I don't even get to hit anything. What's this? Fettered heart. Nice. I'm getting to try all the new items. Ow. Fire mind? Get that in there too. Why not?
taking a lot of damage that I'm not really intending to take right now, but so there ain't much of my choice in it. I mean, also, I can use Mega Mush when I need to. Gets me out of a jam. Oh, my lord. Bit of quad shot in there, too. Why not? Just the nuttiest run. The nuttiest run I've ever seen in my life. Oh, we got that don't stop thing where the buttons appear sometimes. It's kind of funny. Why is there so many items in here? <laughs> There's a void portal as well. I mean, we have to, don't we? I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. Don't like, make me leave uh, Mega Mush behind. I'd be very sad. Oh, you bitch! Okay, it doesn't matter. It's over. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. That was nuts. That got real crazy towards the end. Yep, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.